Hey guys, so I'm just going to do a very quick rundown on how to use the various inventory system functions in the multiplayer survival game template. Um, this will give a very brief overview of creating a new item, setting up a recipe to create that item, and a couple of other things. There will be much more detailed tutorials coming in the future as well as written tutorials, but I'm getting a lot of questions on how exactly to do everything, so I'm just going to try and uh, cover it as quickly as I can here in a simple tutorial. So, start off with, we'll load up our map so we can actually place the, the item we make in the world. So, this is our starting area over here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to jump into content, SGT, blueprints, data, and then we're going to open this data table here called DT SGT items. And so this is where you have all the information of your items. Now I'm using the most recent build available on Gumroad. Uh, so this will be available via the marketplace within the next couple of days. Um, it is version 1.0.0.4 for Unreal Engine 4.14. Now to create a new item, all you need to do here is click the Add button. These are all example items. You can delete them as you want, or you can use them as reference, or you can edit them. What we're going to do is we're going to start by creating a book just to show off how to unlock recipes. So, we'll give this a name of example uh, recipe book. So this is the name as it shows up in the editor. We need to give it a unique name here for the row name, or you can leave it as the rows and just they will number, but it's a little bit harder to work with. So we're going to call this example book 01, just so we know what it is. Now the thumbnail, you just pick the thumbnail. This is what's going to show up in your inventory for the item. Um, so I know I have a book image just here, that one there. And then we can give it a description. So this book was created for the MSGT inventory tutorial and is a very nice read. It unlocks several leet recipes. And you can click Shift Enter. No, you can't. Never mind. Um, so that can be as long as you want and it will automatically spread it out. So then you've got your type. So these are all pretty self-explanatory. Ammo is ammo for your weapons. Armor is armor items. Bags are bags to extend your inventory. Books are what we're creating now. Consumables are items like health kits, um, antidotes, blood packs, um, anything that impacts your stats immediately. Keys are used to unlock chests and I guess you could use them for doors and that sort of thing. Placeables are things like crafting tables um, and chests, so you can put them down in the world. Tools are things like pickaxes, hammers, and that that you might use for harvesting. The tools can also double for melee weapons as well. And weapons are, at the moment, guns. And then null is a blank category if you want to make things that don't fit in that. You can add to this um, quite easily just by opening this in, um, in here. Uh, item type and then you could add a new item type and then add in your own logic but we're not going to go into that today. So we're going to make this a book we're going to give it a weight of 2 kilograms quantity of 1, it's not consumable, we can destroy it and we can drop it max stack size, we want that to be 1 no cooldown time on it um, so if you hover over all these it does give you information on what they are so you can make things that do have a cooldown time but don't actually show the cooldown timer. Um, your pickup mesh, so this is the static mesh used to represent this item in the game world as a pickup. So we've got a book just there. Obviously I've used all these ones already but you know. Um, so these are new features in the new build that is currently available on Gumroad. Um, these are sounds upon use. So we're going to give that the book sound. And there are separate sounds for drop, destroy, equip, and unequip. Now, equip and unequip are only going to be used for items that you actually equip. Um, but the drop and destroy is for every item. So they, by default, there is a placeholder sound in there that's set for everything to be the same. But you can actually set them per item if you want. 
ammo type. Now, th so everything from ammo type onwards is specific to certain types. So if you hover over, it will actually tell you what type. So as you can see there, it says it's used for ammo and weapon types only. So if it's an ammo type, it just defines what ammo it is. If you're making a weapon, this setting actually defines what type of ammo that weapon uses. We don't care about that. Likewise, we don't care about any of these. All we care about are the book ones here. So the book title will give example recipe book volume one book author some crazy man who lives in a cave and cooks and book text uh, so recipe one and you can do shift enter on this one um, take a wooden plank add uh, take a wooden plank, add to it a, what are we going to add to it, let's say, apple, and bam, you have, what are we going to make with that, let's say we're going to make a funky chest, just so we can place that in the world. So that's a recipe that's going to just show up. Now what we want to do is actually add that recipe in because we are making this recipe book. That recipe doesn't exist yet. So for now we will save this just so it's done and we'll go back into our data folder here. So content SGT blueprints data will open up recipes. Now to do this to make a recipe we click add again. This is another data table. We give the recipe a name funky chest. Now the result we get, we don't actually have yet. So, back to the other table. We make another item. We call this funky chest. A funky chest. So hopefully this all makes sense. I'm just going to go through this quickly. We're going to actually make a chest that looks like an apple. Why hasn't that showed up? Food, that's all I want. A funky chest that looks like an apple. Uh, we go placeable, weight, we'll give it a weight of one, quantity of one. We don't care about any of those settings. Max stack size always has to be one. Pickup mesh is apple. Sound on use. Um, Let's just give it a, let's use that sound, and we want to go down to placeable. So we also need a placeable item for this. So we jump into this category here, SGT Blueprints Actors, and just give me one second to check. Well you know what, we're just going to take a copy of this one here. So this is a chest I've already made. We'll actually use the backpack. We'll go duplicate and we'll just call this funky chest. We'll open that up and we will change the settings in here. So it's an apple, um, a funky chest. We don't want it to be locked and by default we will put another we will put an actual apple item inside of it so you can see how chests work here as well and we close that so then back in our recipes sorry back in our items data table we can give this a placeable item of funky chest and that's all we need to do for that one so we jump into recipes, our result that we want to do is funky chest. Required items, we said a wooden plank, I think. Uh, where is the wooden plank, I think? I might have removed that. Okay, so we're not going to worry about the wooden plank, we will just use the um, apple, we'll just give it you need an apple to craft it. It'll make it much easier to actually craft as well. 
Oh, there's a wooden plank there. Wooden plank. We need one wooden plank. And then we add another requirement. Which is the apple. Not bandages. Apple. One. And if you want to make it so it needs a workstation, you can put in a workstation here. We're just going to leave it as none. So we save that data table. We can close that one now. Oh, we need to give it a name. Funky chest. Keep doing capital H's. Save that, and we jump back into here. We can click on our example recipe book, and we give it a recipe to unlock, which is now Funky Chest. So that's all we need. However, obviously we do not have a wooden plank in our inventory, so we will just create one here by duplicating this guy and then changing it to wooden plank. And now we also want to get the book that we just made. So we'll create another duplicate of that. And we will just set that to example book 01. Okay, we'll just drop that down on the ground. Okay, so what we've done here is we've created this book item which unlocks a recipe that if we have a wooden plank and an apple creates another item that we made called funky chest which is a placeable item that will have an apple inside of it. All pretty easy given the short amount of time we spent so let's give it a go and see if it works. Hopefully we've done everything right. So let's start with example recipe book. Click on that. And books are currently set to readable only so it's just opened. So recipe one, this is our book, it came up in the bottom down here telling us that we've unlocked a recipe and that will not happen next time we open it because we've already opened it. So we pick up an apple, pick up a wooden plank, got both those items, click on crafting, there's our funky chest recipe, craft, and now we have a funky chest, which if we press two and go bam, there is our funky chest, and finally, inside of it, we have an apple. So that's a rough breakdown on how to make inventory items, as well as recipes. Um, there is more to the system as well. You do have salvaging as an option, which is all defined by the salvaging data table here, um, which is very simple. You just you click on here, you give it results of what you want it to salvage. Um, that's about it guys, so if you have any questions or you want me to cover anything else in more detail or anything different, please let me know. Other than that, check out the links in the description and thank you for the support. Cheers.